Fortnite season OG has just dropped and well it's took us back to the old school looking graphics which alone could literally double your FPS especially after using these specific settings I'm about to explain in this video today such as custom video settings, the best game settings as well as some other settings that you definitely should be using to boost your FPS slash lower your delay and overall gain a massive competitive advantage in Fortnite season OG. So please drop a like if it helps, subscribe to the channel and use my code in the OG item shop. Also I'm giving away three different battle passes for completely free, just comment anything below for a chance to win. Alright so for the video settings firstly you want to use either 1920 by 1080 for best visibility or you can use stretched resolution like 1720 by 1080 to get an extra FPS boost, lower input delay and bigger look and player models. In addition to that I highly recommend performance mode over DirectX 11 or 12 as it provides overall better visibility as things like grass are just not there and overall you can see the map looks way cleaner and it's just going to help you spot enemies so much more easier. For brightness this is a personal preference setting, here's what 50% looks like, here's what 100% looks like and here's what 150% looks like. In my opinion I really like the default 100% this season. For colorblind modes uh, this season here's what Deuteronope looks like, you can see it's super dark and dingy, it literally looks like it used to when Mongrel used to play it back in the day, this is a pretty fond memory. Here's what Protonope looks like, you can see again it's really dark but not as dark as Deuteronope and here's what Tritonope looks like. You can see Tritonope looks super vibrant and in my opinion I think it definitely does look the best colorblind mode in season OG. And also here is what no colorblind mode looks like this season, you can see it looks overall pretty normal but again colorblind mode is all personal preference. For view distance I really like to use medium as I find it's a perfect balance between seeing where opponents are or rather how far away they are from you as well as items while also being great with performance. For auto confirm edits, um, if you have this on off when you make an edit you must select the edit then make the edit and then confirm the edit which equals 3 steps total. Edit auto confirms the edit for you which minus is 1 step equaling 2 steps total. Reset auto resets the edit for you that takes a total of 2 steps in total and then you've got both which automatically confirms the edits and automatically resets the edits for you taking a total of two steps. I think most pros either use this setting off or they use just the edit one. For replays I recommend turning all of these settings off if you don't VOD review or anything like that because you actually can gain a slight FPS boost from having all of these disabled but obviously have them turned on if you need them. Reticle ammo indicator adds a visual ammo counter whereas having it off doesn't show any visual ammo counter. Damage numbers list will manually list the damage that you deal whereas cumulative will automatically add up the damage you deal for you. Reticle damage feedback adds these icons to showcase the type of enemy, hit only will only add a hit marker and off will show none of that feedback. We've also got these custom hood options on screen that will make your hood go from this sort of cluttered mess to this super clean non-distracted hood. For mouse sensitivities, uh, for X and Y I recommend using anything from 6.5% as the lowest to 14% as the highest. ADS I recommend 30% as the lowest to 80% as the highest and scope I recommend 80% as the lowest and 100% as the highest. I think these sensitivities are a good bracket to get a pretty balanced one, it's not too low and it's not too high. I recommend pairing all of these with a mouse DPI of at least 800 mouse DPI. If you can feel free to go higher and I explain why or the, rather the benefits of using a high DPI in this video on screen, link in the description below. But as well as that make sure to also use 1000Hz or higher if you can to minimise any sort of micro stuttering that you might get on your mouse while using a lower hertz. Oh and another thing in the Windows mouse settings make sure you're using the default sense of 6 out of 11 and also make sure you've got mouse acceleration turned off. If mouse accel is turned on your mouse pointer will artificially move further even with the slightest of movements whereas having mouse acceleration turned off will make your mouse pointer move the exact same distance you move your mouse on your mouse pad so it's way more accurate. For keyboard movement I recommend using this setting. I use what Buggy uses which is 70% on the forward, 90% on the strafe and 135% on the backward. I think these are great settings as in my opinion he's got one of the best movements in the game so I like to use it and it feels great for myself. For sound I recommend 
recommend using high quality if you've got a decent modern headset. I think you'll notice straight away how much better and just overall clearer the sound is over using the low option. However, do keep in mind that the low quality sound option will give you a slight FPS boost over using high. Also, make sure to use the visualize sound effects option. It's what every pro is using as it literally points you to the direction of nearby gunshots, grenades, vehicles, heels, footsteps, chests and way more. For keybinds, I always recommend these comfortable sets if you don't know what to use. Set 1 is wall on X, floor on V, stairs on C and roof on left shift. And set 2 is wall on mouse button 5, floor on V, stairs on mouse button 4 and roof on left shift. Just give these a try and then you can optimise them to feel what's best for yourself. Moving on we've got the best window set ends and straight away if you go into your control panel or rather the system settings in themselves, if you firstly go ahead and uncheck all of these privacy options, all four and get rid of them, then if you go ahead and scroll down to background applications and turn these off as we don't want these running in the background and taking up some of our resources, if you then go into the about section and click on advanced system settings then go under the performance option tab right here if you click um, adjust for best performance and tick these four settings right here then go into device manager under system devices and find the high precision event timer if you go ahead and disable that then press windows key and on the desktop type in temp, delete all these files right here, then go in the run box again and type in percentage sign temp, percentage sign again, delete all those files right there, then in the prefetch and delete all those files right there. And another thing you can do is press control alt delete, go into the task manager, find Fortnite running while the game's opened, right click on it, go to the details, then under the shipping exe, if you right click on it and set the priority from the default normal, too high. This should give you a pretty significant FPS boost as well. Next we've got the best Nvidia settings. Now straight away you want to either use the latest drivers for your graphics card or you want to use an older driver. Here are some great older drivers on screen right now. After that you want to open up your Nvidia control panel via right clicking on the desktop. Inside here I recommend using advanced custom 3D image settings. You can take yourself there and then in these settings right here you just want to copy what I've got. All of these have been optimized um, in this video on screen where I go into detail about what each one does but all of these have been optimized to give you the best FPS and lowest amount of input delay so feel free to copy these and I can guarantee you will get a huge advantage over your opponents. Next up we've got some lower ping tricks. If you go onto your desktop now Windows key plus R then put in this command right here then go into network adapters select your main connection. If you right click on this and update the driver that is highly recommended to make sure you're on the most latest drivers for that. In addition, you can go into the properties too and optimize some of the settings within here. The power management, you want to uncheck both of these, then go into advanced and if you basically copy my settings on screen right here, this should improve your internet and lower your ping. After that, we're going to change our DNS server, which is actually recommended via Epic Games themselves. To do this, click on your start menu and type in view network connection. Then you'll see your main internet connection, go into the properties, then go into IP v4 make sure it's ticked if it isn't already then if you go into the properties you will see that if you click on use the following dns server you can type in a custom one i recommend either using cloudflare's one which the numbers for that are on screen right now or you can use google's one and the numbers for that are on screen right now as well alternatively you can use a free safe tool called dns benchmark where you can actually go ahead and run this scan to see what the best dns server is for your connection that'll give you the lowest amount amount of ping. You can run this and it'll come up which one's the best for you and for myself it was actually the Google one. But that right there has been the best competitive settings for Fortnite Season OG. Be sure to check out my other videos that'll help you out a ton on screen right now.